Hello and welcome to this episode of The Gunman. In this video I'll take you through this Toyota Corolla and getting it sprayed. The name of the colour is Blue Streak and I'm painting it in Standox solvent base, base coat. So what I'm putting on here is what we call a ground coat. Um, it's basically turning the car into a three-stage pearl. Uh, so I, this ground coat is not actually the correct car color of the car. Uh, I'm doing this to save a, a couple of hundred mils or a hundred mils on the uh, of base coat. I've just uh, had a look around on the benches, found a couple of blues. Uh, throwing them together and then put that down first to basically get the primer area uh, covered up so that when we go to put our top colour on we won't need quite as much so I've mixed up 150 mils of base coat colour for this one and that will then take uh, a 2 to 1 ratio of reducer so I'll probably end up with about 220 mils of colour when it's mixed up So. As you can see, I've got my two coats of ground coat down. <coughs> I've then give it, given it five minutes while I'm cleaning the gun out and putting the top coat colour in. And now I'm re-running the tack rag over it just to get rid of any bits of dust over the blend areas and anything that might have landed on it while I was out of the booth. And now we'll put our first coat of top coat colour on. These first two coats, you're just going for coverage more than anything. You just just want to bomb them on. Uh, just start to get get the colour right, get it so that the whole car is this uh, correct colour. We'll then give that a couple of minutes to flash off. You can see it starts egg shelling. It, a similar gloss to an eggshell so it will dull off in between coats you'll know the right, next one's right to go on second coat will still go for a nice wet one and after that you should pretty much have coverage over the panels of the right colour and the next coat after this will be our effect coat um, you'll notice it goes on a lot quicker and probably move the, the gun backwards a little bit just to, to allow the, the paint just to drop on and not go on uh, too heavy so this is the first video of, um, I've made with the new GoPro that I bought uh, as you can see the lights in the spray booth uh, make the camera flicker a little bit but there's not much I can do about it I've looked into it and this is about as good as I can do but hopefully you're happy with the video quality also if there's anything that you guys think I could do to improve my videos um, you're more than welcome to leave a comment in the box down there they'll be happily answered um, I'm, I'm no Steven Spielberg <laughs> So, yeah, if there's anything you think I should be doing or that I shouldn't be doing or you'd like to see more of, just let me know. Um, so what we're doing here, we're putting our first coat of clear on. Um, I'm actually using Duke's own clear. It's um, compatible with the Standox uh, base coat. Uh, it's made by the same company. Uh, it just saves us a couple of dollars on some of the uh, vehicles that we use. If I was to paint a European car or a BMW Mercedes or something like that I might uh, use the slightly more expensive Standox clear but a Japanese car like this we, we're not going to go and put expensive clear over it but it sprays quite similar to the Standox and it's a good quality clear um, if you ever have to rework it you don't have many big issues so um, for this job I'm using the GTI Pro with a TransTech cap on it which is the T2 it's not a HVLP uh, cap on it. Uh, reason being is because this booth um, actually doesn't have quite as much air pressure as the other booth, which you can see in the background, which I usually use. For some reason, the air pressure is not there, and I've found 
that these conventional air guns actually pass less air so you can get a better finish with a lower amount of pressure compared to the HVLP caps so that first coat was just uh, what we call a closed coat so you're not going uh, for a completely wet coat yet this is this second coat you'll, you'll notice I've started to slow down a bit and uh, gun setup on this I've had it at about two and a half turns out so you wind your fluid right in and pull it out two and a half turns and uh, fan right open and pro probably for the uh, transtech cap maybe at about 1.7 or 25 uh, psi of pressure Once I've finished painting this, I'll then give it about five minutes while I'm cleaning the gun out, let that flash off, and then hit bake. Uh, I don't like to hit bake straight away because putting the heat onto, excessive heat onto it straight away can actually make it run and make the paint move. So give it five minutes, hit bake, and then bake it for half an hour to 40 minutes at 60 to 80 degrees. So this is the car out the front of work, polished up, detailed, uh, ready for the customer to pick up. As you can see it looks nice and shiny, good gloss level to it, and it looks the same colour as the rest of the car. So thanks for watching and this has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.